Hi, JP Fournier of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day 20 of 31 Days of Horror, the month where I watch a horror film I've never seen every day for the full month leading up to Halloween. And what do we get for day 20? Well, yesterday we had Pray for the Devil. So today we're getting, ooh, Feed Me. You are who you eat. Following the death of his wife, a broken man spirals into a abyss of night terrors and depression and finds himself in the home of a deranged cannibal, of course, who convinces him to take his own life in the most horrific way imaginable. Well, okay, uh, this one's going to be probably gross. Uh, so day 20, I'm watching Feed Me. Feed Me is one of those rare films that tackles the subject of consensual cannibalism. Prior to this was the infamous Marion Dora's Cannibal, which is one of the most graphic and vile films I have ever endured. So seeing this nasty subject handled with a good sense of humor and respect for its characters, this was a nice surprise. The film starts off dark, with our protagonist Jed losing his girlfriend to suicide and Jed looking to follow in her footsteps to reignite the two. The comedy doesn't get into play until we meet the cannibal himself, Lionel, whose characteristics and personality traits are quirky and unique, if not awkward. Because Jeb would like to take his own life, but is incapable of doing it himself, and Lionel would like to eat fresh meat, the two of them make a pact to help each other. However, what Jed would soon find out is that Lionel has been suffering from severe loneliness and has some weird ideas about consuming someone's flesh makes them unite as friends and companions. So while Jed is looking to have the procedure completed as quickly and as painlessly as possible, Lionel may have some other plans of his own. The film starts off with the note that this is inspired by a true story, which is unnecessary because the story that is presented doesn't take a truthful tone. And this is not a bad thing, as the film is capable of slipping back and forth between silly comedy and then into some disturbing and suspenseful moments. The finale is utterly over the top, yet very satisfying at the same time. Claiming that this is inspired by a true story does damper some of the comedy, especially when it comes to the naive and clueless cops and their lack of awareness. Feed Me has fun and unique characters, performed nicely, and with a lot of welcoming surprises and a bunch of cringe-worthy segments. I would recommend this to the people who can digest such a premise. And there you go. Day 20 of 31 Days of Horror. This time I watched Feed Me. What other cannibal films do you like? Let us know in the comments section. And if you're curious about other films I am watching this month, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. And for other information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.